Hello guys, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. This is video going to be very interesting because this is where we are going to talk about a very asked questions. Okay, and that question is regarding the scholarship for biology students in India because we don't talk much about scholarships here, right? And in outside of India, there are countries where people generally think of studying, they think of scholarship. So in India, what is the situation of scholarships and can you get scholarship while doing your graduation and post graduation from India or can you get scholarship while you do your graduation and masters from abroad? So if you want to know all these things, then this video is just for you because in this video, I'm going to talk about six different scholarships which a student can apply if they are doing graduation and under graduation post graduation courses in foreign countries and seven such eight such different uh, scholarships that a student can apply while doing graduation and masters in india so stay tuned all right so before going into showing you all the different kinds of scholarships where i'll show you uh, total 6 plus 8 14 different kinds of scholarships there there are also other scholarships but i have enlisted 14 specific type of scholarships for you okay now when we talk about scholarships you need to keep few things in your mind first of all is that the scholarships are offered in multiple ways there are multiple ways possibilities possibility number one is that the scholarship can be government or non-government entity Okay, it can be provided by government entity or non-government entity. The government entity scholarships are very common. We all know about it. Uh, some of them are very, very famous like CSI, NetGate and all these things. But the non-government scholarships are also there, which is offered by non-government entities. Like for example, a, a, you know, a trustee or foundation okay, of some kind, which is a non-government entity. Now, the second point that you need to keep in mind is that the scholarship value does not generally relate it to whether it's offered by a government or non-government entity. It varies drastically. The third thing is that the scholarship will be offered based on what subject you're doing your graduation and post-graduation in. Okay, so here I'll be discussing about the scholarships offered to the students of the life science field. So this thing you need to keep in mind. The third thing you need to keep in mind is the scholarship varies with multiple factors, like whether you're applying it uh, in your own country or outside of your own country. The scholarship uh, also varies with your uh, caste, with your gender. So there are gender specific scholarships, which is only offered to the girl, or it can be offered to only a boy or mixed. It can also be depending upon your caste. There are backward caste specific scholarships which is offered to only SCST and there are spe specific scholarship for the PWD candidates separately provided. And there are some scholarship provided for all the audiences, all the students. And one, one more thing before going into the details is that this video is made in uh, the 15th of March, 2022. So the data that I gathered from different websites and, and information sites, uh, there may be some older data. So the values of the scholarship may be increased. The values may be two, three years older. So right now, maybe the value of the scholarship is increased. So you need to always check rather than commenting in the section that uh, the value was something these or that but i want to make this video to make you aware that there is some kind of scholarships like that you can appear of that so the value of the scholarship can be different okay. so that's another kind of scholarship as well so don't get frightened when you see things like that these are the different properties of scholarship so let's move on and see the details of the scholarships Okay, so now we are going to see uh, the list of scholarships that I have been talking about and I'll be talking about uh, six international scholarships. That means uh, students from India can study in international colleges and universities for their master's and PhD programs, mostly in the master's because we are making this video for the master's and graduation courses. And then we'll also talk about the seven scholarships that Indian students can uh, get to study in India to do BSc and MSc in India. So let's uh, start with it. Uh, the very first one here is uh, Queensland University Australia provides like School of Chemistry and Molecular Biological Sciences uh, in for this is the Indian scholarship from the Queensland University Australia and this is offered for the PG courses postgraduate courses in that university and is offered to all the Indian students. The second one is the National University of Singapore and National University of Singapore offers this scholarship for science and technology grad graduates for graduation BSc honors program and the uh, scholars get can get maximum up to 48,300 you can see here uh, if I take a color the scholars can take up to 48,300 Singapore okay uh, dollar. Okay, that is the amount near about uh, this is this is really uh, like near about more than 25 lakh rupees i believe okay and scholarship amount will be given in every single semester 
third one is uh, the british shivening scholarship it's a very famous one to un uh, it's provided to undergraduate uh, to undertake pg study in the uk and up to 100 indian professionals receive this financial aid every single year announced every single year you can uh, directly log into www.shevening.com for the details and also you can visit uh, all these uh, different places okay next uh, is generally it's in britishcouncil.org is the website this is where you can visit and you can see multiple uh, types of scholarship uh, that can be offered uh, by the different colleges and universities of uk to the indian students the fourth one is developing solutions uh, master's scholarship for india so for master's degree programs the university of nottingham this is another university from uk uh, that offers uh, the scholarship for the study related to biology environment food health and technology uh, a very small number of uh, students get 100 percent tuition fee scholarship 100 percent tuition fee waiver Plus additional 24 tuition fee scholarships are there. Normally 20 to 30 percent of uh, the overall fee can be waived off. And the application uh, month is generally May. Uh, you can check the details over here. You can see that there are multiple websites uh, listed in here. And this particular link you can click to get the details. The fifth one is Chinese government scholarship for higher studies and research projects in zoology, plant breeding, genetics, environmental sciences, fisheries, agronomy sericulture and botany for all these different disciplines of science and life science they offer this and they around uh, they announce this uh, scholarship around april you can simply search in chinese government scholarship for that purpose jain tata scholarship amount is 10 lakh uh, onwards and 10 lakh 10 to 15 lakh rupees jain tata endowment awards one time loan scholarship to indian nationals at the beginning of their academic career generally when they are uh, trying to settle their academic career outside india generally they require this lump sum amount and jain tata scholarship can provide that up to 10 lakh rupees right now now these values may change when depending upon when you see this video when you watch this video please check the published date of the video and your uh, watching date uh, that may vary postgraduate or phd postdoctoral research fellowships in abroad in all fields uh, depending irrespective of their caste creed gender or community is eligible to receive this scholarship and this is really important when we discuss about scholarship is regarding uh, who will receive the scholarship because uh, for receiving scholarship your nas nationality matters your caste sometimes matters your gender matters and all this because there are specific gender specific scholarships women's scholarships in india that are available there are uh, race specific uh, caste specific uh, scholarships that are available there are uh, you know scholarships based on uh, whether you can uh, do the projects and, and and graduation and masters in india or abroad based on that scholarships are different so that thing these things are really really important now the scholarships for indian students to study in india to stay in india so if you want to do graduation and masters in india see i told you earlier that the scholarships are mostly offered for the postgraduate courses and, and doctoral courses postdoctoral courses and not from the graduation courses but there are some scholarships available in india which is offered to the graduate undergraduate uh, students and there are also scholarships that can be offered to them uh, while they are doing their uh, plus two as well. So what are these courses? The first one, uh, the first scholarship is International Scholarship Program, Aga Khan Foundation. This is very, very important. The PG studies of financially needy students offers 50% grant, 50% loan basis scholarship. The application month is June or July. Now for the developing country, this scholarship is really, really helpful you can check the website for the details the second one is Bharat petroleum uh, scholarship for higher studies for pg studies in india as well as pg studies in abroad uh, the prior admission to any institute for doing the pg courses is required then only you can apply it is announced every single year the application month is generally may the third one is fair and lovely foundation scholarship this is particularly this is the only one scholarship i put here which is a uh, gender specific which is female specific scholarship offered by hindustan unilever fair and lovely foundation known as project saraswati for graduate courses in india criteria 60 percent marks in 10th and 12th standard uh, in this case it's written one lakh per annum but i think right now uh, it's increased this is old data so you can check uh, www.fairandlovely.in and you can check the fair and lovely foundation and what they are doing for the uh, students of india application month near about september fourth is indira gandhi pg scholarship for single girl child again another one uh, another gender specific female specific scholarship indira gandhi pg scholarship 
there's also uh, swami vivekananda scholarship there's also another there are some other scholarships for single girl child so girls who are only child of their parents for post graduate studies in india uh, in any discipline in any discipline post graduate uh, girls can get that uh, website www.ugc.ac.in from there you can get all the details and you can contact the address provided here so if you are studying post graduate course from any of the recognized universities ugc recognized universities you can apply for that fifth one is inlax sivdasani foundation and for ms and phd studies both in india and abroad this scholarship is offered and of course the applicant must have confirmed that mission while ap applying for the scholarship and the selection is through screening of application as well as interview okay and you can visit the inlakfoundation.org or the uh, the address is also provided in this page you can take a screenshot of that sixth one is kishore vaigyanik prasthan yojana for students studying in 11 12 bsc msc b btech b architecture mbbs any of these courses the scholarship can be provided up to the pre phd level the website www.iisc.ernet.in slash kvpy it's better known as kvpy scholarship very very good very very important scholarship many i have seen many students applying for it and continuity this is a good one so you can see the contact details the website as well as the contact details provided in this page and uh, another one is vit ignite scholarship now this is particularly if you are applying for velour institute of technology vit for a b btech program <clears throat> VIT University offers this Ignite scholarship uh, for deserving candidates and generally top 3 rank holders in each board will get full 100% waiver of the tuition fee as a scholarship and they don't need to go through VI triple VIT triple E examination as well they will be selected and they'll be provided full uh, tuition fee waiver top 15 VIT triple E will get 75% scholarship and 51 to 100 number of rank holder students in the vit triple e exam will get 50% scholarship so this is a very good way of arranging scholarships so if you if you are a top 3 among top 3 rank holders from your board of education 100% tuition fee waiver and if not then appear in vit triple e examination if you get a rank from 1 to 100 you'll get some amount of scholarship 1 to 50 75% waiver of the tuition fee and 51 to 100 50% waiver of the tuition fee remember this is only on the tuition fee not regarding any other fees merit cum mean scholarship this scholarship awarded to uh, students in india in government or private institutions selected and notified uh in a transparent manner by the state government or union territory administration concerned okay and generally state government is uh taking care of all these processes regarding merit cum mean scholarship but in this case again uh, this is provided to those who are in requirement of scholarship uh, depending on the annual net annual income of the family and your score and merit in your graduation days so that's what is needed to get merit cum in scholarship it will cover all the technical and professional courses at undergraduate and postgraduate level but it will not give you any travel allowance or any related to like healthcare allowance and all these things but you will get the amount as a fixed value and you can use it for your study okay that's all regarding the different kinds of scholarships that you can get as a graduate student as a post graduate students if you want to do graduation and masters in india as well as if you want to do graduation and masters outside of india okay all right so i believe you have a clear idea about the different kinds of scholarships that you can get and avail as a undergraduate and post graduate students if you want to do the undergraduate and post graduate courses in india as well as in the foreign countries so there are other scholarships as well Uh, if you like this video then hit the like button and also mention that in the comment section so that we can make another video regarding scholarship specific videos regarding scholarships in details now these all scholarships are for graduation and post graduation for phd i'll make a separate video if you uh, also mention that in the comment section if you want to see us making a video uh, regarding the scholarships for the phd candidates okay so that's all about it if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future and also thank you very much bye